This is an unusual configuration known as an emitter degenerated LC oscillator. What does it do? Well, we'll find out in a moment. There's an upper half and a bottom half to this configuration. The upper half has two LC parallel circuits, also known as tank circuits. The bottom half has two transistors with the bias wires cross-coupled, something we see in a variety of multivibrators. The left-hand tank circuit has smaller values for the coil and capacitor than the one at the right, so the left hand has a higher resonant frequency. Current can be seen changing direction in the tank loops. The left-hand tank resonates at about twice the frequency of the right-hand tank. The slower tank circuit at right does not get a chance to oscillate per se. Instead, it causes the transistors to change state as it creates high and low volt levels at the node below it. When a transistor turns on, it pulls supply current through the coil above it, overriding the tendency for the tank circuit to oscillate. Certain wires have showed spurious current flows in this video. These are due to shortcomings in the simulator algorithm and should be ignored. Finally, to remove power, to demonstrate that the tank loops do indeed have resonance, both are oscillating independently now, the left one at twice the frequency.